Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Anna for her for those who are new to my channel. Um, so I'm waiting on my kids. Uh, they're almost out of school and I have like 30 minutes to talk about this. So what what, what better time to talk about this? Okay, so let's talk conjugal visits. Um, everybody gets surprised when I tell them I have conjugal visits or I, I'm able to have sex with my husband while he's in, in, incarcerated. <laughs> Sorry guys about my English is so bad. Pero si te hablo en español, me vas a entender super bien. Porque el español, uff. <laughs> okay. Sorry guys. Um, sorry for my English. Hope you guys understand um, my bad English. Okay guys, so I'm gonna talk about conjugal visits based on me and my husband experience. Um, just um, have um, some things in mind. Everybody is different. Every inmate is different. Every prison is different. Um, every state because not in every um, state of the United States you're able to have a conjugal visit. I live in um, the state of California and inmates here are able to have a conjugal visit. One, you have to be you have to be married and not because you're married you're able to have a conjugal visit. Um, they have to they'll check um, they'll check it's a process they'll check what is your husband or wife in for um, does he have a good behavior um, has he been good and they'll do like a criminal check on you they did a criminal check on me so um, just have those things in mind um, it's a privilege to have a family visit or a conjugal visit um, it's not just oh yeah because I'm married I'm gonna get it no it's a process and like I said it's a privilege whoever has it um, knows it is a privilege so if you have it guys try to keep out of trouble do what they say don't do don't do crazy stuff because eventually you lose it and um, like I said it's a privilege to have them anybody who has them oh my god um, knows what I'm talking about um, because not everybody can have them so yeah even though they're married so so the prison where my husband is in um, they try to do it as normal and comfortable for you and the family members or the people are going um, yeah they try to do it as normal as possible so say this is the prison there's a fence and then there's this little house um, and there's just another fence so in that little house, it's like a two-bedroom apartment with one bathroom. Um, there is a kitchen in there. Um, they even have um, a crib. They have beds. They have twin beds and one bed and bedroom. And they even have an Xbox in there. So if you take your kids or your husband likes to play or I like to play, <laughs> I don't like to play. But yeah, they even have an Xbox. So like I said, they try to make it as normal as possible because um, families, um, couples, married couples do take their kids. So they try to make it as comfortable for the kids. So one month before my visit, I order food online and uh, they send it to the prison and they'll be there sitting for a whole month obviously it's food that it's not gonna go bad or nothing um it's usually dry food or canned food or yeah stuff like that and so that day they'll take that box to that to that little house and so yeah we cook in there you could shower um uh, if it's only you and your um and your husband you could take um lingerie you cannot take toys you can only take like sex lingerie your shorts whatever but the day when you're going in you have to dress like normal nothing you know showing too much or revealing um but in your bag you could take that stuff last times we've been i've been over there they have radio and the radio doesn't work for some reason so the only thing you could do you know sleep do have some fun um and 
watch TV, cook, and yeah. Well, it gets boring when we take kids because kids, you know, they don't, I mean, they have that Xbox game there, but it's just few games. They're not going to play what, like, they play over here, all that stuff they play. So, kids get bored easily. So, yeah. So, like I was saying, um, they, the prison where I'm at, they try to do it as normal as they can for you and your family. It's, I'll be making um, a video of what it's in my bag for family visit or K aka conjugal visits. And um, yeah, so that's all. There ain't much. It's just, um, it's, it's good. Once you get approved, um, from there on, everything is easy. Um, I get this visit every every three months um this last one you know there's another thing um depending what prison you go depending um the ceos or the family coordinator if you're a good if you're a good person if they like you and um you're not getting in trouble um they'll give you they'll give you privilege like this time this last time um my family visit was through every three months and they did it um in two months so yeah it all depends um so yeah guys i mean that's about it and like i said yes we're able to have sex there um that's the most exciting part um <laughs> i don't want to go more um tmi but yeah sex is good um yeah <laughs> All right, so um so yeah i'll be having a family visit on this friday today is tuesday and i'll be having a family this family visit this friday and i'll be trying to have baby hopefully um i'm able to get pregnant um I'm two months post of, like I said, and um, it's hard as a prison wife to try to get pregnant. If I don't get pregnant, um, I'll keep trying, and yeah. So that's all about conjugal visits. I'll be doing a video, like I said, one for what's in my bag, what you could take in the prison. And another one, I'll make another one, the process, the process, uh, what you have to go through um, to to be able to have a conjugal visit, so get approved. If you have any comments, questions, please comment down below. Um, follow me on Instagram if you guys want. And yeah, so if you guys have a conjugal visit, you guys, is you're blessed. Uh, Just take care of them. Do what they say. Don't do nothing crazy because there's people that lose them for crazy stuff. Um, and it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, I hope you guys like this short video. And and it just gives you kind of an idea, you know, um, how is a conjugal visit. And, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe like and share and i'll see you guys later bye